Hi everyone, George here again, day two at Scape Nature, the Norwich's only aquascaping specialist store. And you do other stuff, you don't just do aquascaping, do you? Terrariums, Wabikusa, Kokodama. I basically bring in nature indoors. So um, I'm just gonna show you a bit of an update, uh, progress from yesterday, lots to tell you about, and just show you a few of the display tanks. So the guys have got uh, Boil Bears in stock, looking forward to seeing these being scaped. I've actually got one at home, which I'm really excited about, so I'm gonna scape one of those soon, hopefully, maybe over Christmas period, if I get time. Now check this out, absolutely love this. Um, funny story, me and Ray went for a quick drink after, after a hard day's work yesterday, and uh, we walked past the shop, and there was a load of um, students at, at the door. It was locked up, obviously, and they're all peeking through the window and looking at this beautiful display here because it was all lit up and um, we were like what are you doing and they all like looked really nervous but it was only a bit of fun but yes very cool and you can see the attraction you can imagine this being lit up on a dark winter's night it's gonna look amazing so i love this this is kind of like a desk lamp sort of thing um, i think the guys are gonna actually start producing these for sale so you can actually walk out with the shop with one of these complete which i think is an amazing idea got a little bonsai tree in the background there a couple of little babicusa style terrarium things uh, garden in a bottle and then this is ray's kind of high-tech nano got the twin star 450 on there beautiful plants. You've got the Rotala HR, some Bacopa Compact, some Trident Fern, Mishmash of Marsalea, Hasuta and Granata. Uh, looking really good. Acario Neo Diffuser there in the background for CO2 injection. And it's just got a really small internal filter guys so it just shows you don't need to spend the earth on filtration to get a, a lovely little nanoscape. Here's Jill. Say hello Jill. Hello. So a bit, that place is still looking a bit of a mess right now. It's still very much uh, in progress, but the scapes are looking pretty sweet. Just finished planting the 1200. You can see in the background there, uh, filling it up as we speak with the magic red colander, which we all know and love. But I'll do a full on video of this uh, later on uh, when I get around to editing it. I'm um, using my big, big camera here. Uh, we've got Ray's scape here which is all looking clean and the water's cleared nicely and then Ray's now planting up the Iwagumi which I did the hardscape for yesterday say hello Ray hello uh, what plants are we using Ray we are using Tenelum from the centre of the western soil Tenelum Latium Tenelum around the centre between the stones and then we've got Eliocaris mini yeah, around everywhere else. It's gonna look amazing once it's grown in. Shouldn't take too long to grow in, hopefully. So we've got a VAP opening on the 19th and then there's the actual sort of official public opening on the 26th. And then I'm sure by, by this point in time, the scapes will all be looking relatively mature. Okay, so uh, later in the day, once I've fitted the, I need to fit the lighting and the filtration and the CO2 to the 1200. And then the next step is to plant up the 900. And then that will be all four scapes kind of ready to go and Ray will be maintaining them. So I recommend Ray does probably 50% water change every other day. Um, and then after a month or so, we could probably go to one a week. So it's just a bit of a progress report. Excuse the mess. This is actually quite tidy compared to what it was like a minute ago. Um, we've really nearly complete now. We've just got the planting of the Aquascaper 900 to do, but the 600 is filled, all planted, all the equipment running, lots of air bubbles on the glass, but that will clear up in no time. Got this beautiful scape that we've seen before from Dara's, is that Dara's tank? Using plants from there. The empty 900, which we'll be planting shortly. And then the 1200, which has got all the equipment fitted, We've got the Kessels, got the filter, Oise Biomaster 600, got inline CA2 from CA2 Arts. Me and Ray will crack on buying this bad boy. Let's show you some of the plants we're using. 
So we've got some Rotala Vietnam there from Aquaflora. We've got some Cryptocurrony Parva. I think that's Tropica. We've got the Albedo Brown, which is Tropica. And then down here, a load of Bacopa Compact there on the left. Got some Hygrophila Pinitifida, some more Vietnam, and some Anubius Petite, and then some Cryptocurrony Beckety, I think. So this is all 1 2 growth from Tropica, Marcellar Hirsuta, and then the Staragini Reapens. And yeah, it's going to be quite, actually, quite a sort of, com I would say complex, but quite a lush kind of layout. We've got a bit of a planting plan. And uh, yeah, I look forward to showing you the result in a minute. It's been an epic couple of days, and we've nearly finished just final tidying up. A couple of little minor issues with the scopes we need to sort out. But here we have the four scopes 90% complete. So, starting off with the Aquascoper 600, Sands on Imagumi, 3 stone Imagumi using Frodo Stone, Twin Star 600S Lights, Tropica Soil, Tropica 1 2 Grow, Heliocaris Mini and Helanthium Tenelum. Last pipe work set there, we've got the floating skimmer portion missing, uh, let's get a replacement for that. Neo Diffuser by Aqua Rio, and then we've got the Twin Star M5 in the background. And this is gonna, not gonna take long at all to form a full carpet. Uh, we've got loads of CO2 going on there, no livestock, so we can pump as much CO2 as we like. Full lighting, eight hours a day, Big water changes every other day to help prevent algae. And then moving over to Rayscape, where he used the vast majority of plants from his son Dara's tank in his bedroom. Some of the best Anubias I've ever seen, healthiest Spookophalandra. Got some that's new bulbitis, that's in its emergent form. And then we have some new crypts there in the foreground, Cryptocorony Albida at the front, the brown one. And then we've got Cryptocorony Willisii, tropical plant substrate underneath some regular kind of gravel. Uh, this is the Twin Star 600EA. The A is for adjustable, so you can actually adjust it height wise and length wise. Uh, but this is going to be a lovely kind of low energy. Easy, low maintenance scape. Got the that lighting actually on 50% using an inline dimmer. And then, this has been the troublesome aquascape. We, um, even though I weighed down the woods and tied it all together, uh, it still floated. It floated enough to actually lift up a rock. So I've put another huge piece of Frodo stone in there, as you can see, to weigh it down. Uh, I've got all potted plants in here, apart from some Staragini and some Marcellaire uh, Hirsuta there. We've got some nice Crip Parva, some more Albida Brown. Uh, this is a, I think this is the Neo Soil, Aquario Neo Soil we're using in here. Uh, we're using Hydrocotyl Tripartita as an Epiphyte and also the Hygrophyte uh, Pinitifida as an Epiphyte. These will need tidying up because of the drama we had with the floating wood. There's a bit of replanting needs to be done, but you kind of get the impression. It's a classic kind of triangular Scape, which looks kind of really great from this angle here. And then, last but not least, the Aquascope uh, 600. A little bit of staining of the water with, uh, I guess it's just some dirt from the wood, maybe a little bit of staining from the wood already. And yeah, Aquascope 1200, classic, kind of my kind of style of scape, loads of epi fights, Anubiuses, Bufka, Valandra, Trident Fern, Crips in the mid-ground and then we've got some lovely yeah, here, the lustrous there in the background. Beautiful Frodo stone, there's quite a lot in here. Cosmetic sand foreground. And then I think we use three bags of tropical soil to plant into in the background. So do check out my channel for future updates. So we'll be popping in here probably in a couple of weeks or so. Um, there's a couple of kind of opening ceremonies going on and be nice to get all the tanks looking sweet for them. But I uh, just want to thank Ray and Jill for inviting me over to help scape these lovely works of art in their showroom. I guess you call it gallery, 
space. I just wanted to end on uh, this beautiful little area here. And this is what people can actually see, the public can see from the windows as they walk past. And uh, yeah, hopefully encourage them to come in the store. And then if we look from this way, you can see how inviting that area is down there. Okay guys, that wraps it up for today's vlog. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment, which of those four scapes is your favourite and let me know why. I always read your comments and they're always really appreciated. You take care, keep on skating.